Okay, so this is my A-level chemistry top tips, basically. Um, so I did A-level chemistry, biology and economics, and now I'm doing medicine. I'm in my second year at Durham University, and I'm loving it, basically. So to start off with, number one, you need to get the specification. Now, most people don't even know what the specification is, and it's basically a checklist, and it's something that the exam board releases, and it's basically got everything that they can test you on in the exam. So if it's not in the specification, then there's like a 95, 99% chance that they won't test you um, unless it's applying your knowledge. So basically get the specification, print it off and use that as a revision checklist and make sure you mark off what you've done and what you haven't covered. And that way at least you can see your progress as well and you know what to cover and how much in depth to cover it in. The second thing, with chemistry is the most important thing I can advise you. Make sure you do all the past papers. Now, with chemistry, I swear down, this was like one of one of the easiest subjects but solely because the questions on the past papers were repeated. I did like word for word, like nearly every year. It was ridiculous. I did like three papers and I noticed the pattern straight away. Like, do all the past papers because the, the examiners are lazy and the questions are basically repeated again and again and again. Now the third thing is linked in with the past papers and when you're doing your past papers, the truth is you're not going to get all your questions right and it's fine, like you know, even I got like loads of them wrong but the thing is, like fair enough make your mistake but make sure you learn from your mistake so if you've got a question wrong then the chances are you're going to get that question wrong again in the exam as well. Unless you've, you know, unless you're really smart and and you've learned from your mistake. But for me, I had to write down the question on a separate piece of paper, and underneath that, I had to write down the answer in a different colour, word for word, off the mark scheme, just so that it stayed in my head. And the day before the exam, I used that piece of A4 paper with all the questions that I got wrong and the answers on. I used that to revise, and I just made sure I'd, I went through that. And luckily, you know, I came out A2. Um, with A star in chemistry, which pulled my A level chemistry grade up to an A. So make sure you write out all the questions that you get wrong on a separate piece of A4 paper and keep it safe and use that to revise the, a few days before your exams. Now, the final thing is the CGP revision guide. I don't know if any of you have used the textbooks, um, and the textbook, the problem with the textbook is that. It's got a lot of irrelevant information. So for example, when I was revising Kukule, like learning about Kukule or benzene, I remember they were telling me about like all of Kukule's past past chemistry work and like when he won a Nobel Prize. I th well, I think he won a Nobel Prize, I'm not sure. Um, but like his history and his life story and all this. And, and to be honest, they're never gonna ask you about Kukule. All they wanna find out is like, you know, Kukule's structure basically. So. The textbooks have a lot of irrelevant information in and the CGP revision guide cut it down into a small um, miniature book and it basically simplifies everything and it works alongside the specification as well. So everything in the specification they include in the CGP revision guide. So that's why I preferred using the CGP revision guide. In my first year of A levels I used the big textbooks and I did quite bad. In my second year I switched up to the CGP revision guide and I've done much better. Um, I think those are basically all my tips and advice for now. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Also check out the social media because I've made a couple of social media for you guys. Um, but yeah, if you want anything medicine related or whatever, then just check out the channel. But other than that, thanks for watching.